about my job is really getting to celebrate Pinoy Pride every day through uh, this program. And of course, when we celebrate Pinoy Pride, we also meet a lot of inspiring Kababayans who encourage us to really try our best and represent well for the community. And uh, we met some of those in the year 2011. Today, we're going to look back some mga interviews na yan. Of course, we met entrepreneur Dado Baneta, who's very, very successful and is not forgetting to give back to the community, give back to the country. Also, of course, we all know Philippine concert king Gary Valenciano, very inspiring guy, not only when he performs and when he sings, also when he speaks. And I really, really um, value and I really appreciate that interview that he had with us here on our set. And we also met some other guys, Matthew Libatik, of course, cinematographer, who's uh, putting in a good name or giving us a good name in the international scene. And here are more interviews from 2011. It's good to say a little prayer, but also it's better if we can do something more. And that is what we're going to be talking about as Cabo Bay in L.A. starts right now. I ako po, nung dumating ako dito 1995, two years ago, namatay ang, ano ko, ang isban ko. Hindi siya nakakuha ng yung equity na sinasabi. Ako yun naman, bumalik din dito nung wala na siya. Kasi yun ang gusto namin, maipaglaban yung amin kami mga biyuda, makakuha ng, makakuha rin ng konti na galing sa asban namin. At konti lang yung hinihingi natin, um, al, but these American veterans get as much as how much per month? 1,300 naman. 1,300. At saka pag namatay ang veterano, pupunta sa kanilang balo yun. Yun ang ipinaglalaban natin, bakit yung balo ng Amerikano nakakatanggap, yung balo ng Pilipinong veterano, walang natatanggap. Tungkulin kong gagampanan na lagi kang paglingkuran. Norma, favorite FPAC moment? My most favorite FPAC moment was when, for the first time, we all gathered. Hindi tayo Ilocano, Bisaya, Tagalog, Muslim, whatever. When I heard, ati nito, Ito tayo. Uh, ginagawa natin to sa susunod ng mga Filipinos. And to me, it was just my blood transfusion. Kaya hindi ako umalis. Kasi nakikita ko, andyan na sila mga bata. Trust your, your own confidence. Your, your inner confidence has to take over. A lot of people call it passion. Um, passion is good because it gets you over. But passion is about the task in my mind. I'm trying to differentiate the two because I have a lot of passion on some things. It's always about technology, mm -hmm. but that's just the task. Right. There is something bigger than that, and that is your belief that you can do it. When we go out and go to a Filipino event, itong mga kababayan natin eh, kailangan talagang palaging nakapustura, nakasot ng mga malalaking alahas, nakagumagamit ng mga branded na mga bags, dadating ng mga naka-Mercedes or naka-luxury cars. Well, as they say, that is a measure of success. I mean, I have um, Asian friends who okay. tell me, you're Filipino, you don't have a Mercedes? You know, this is, this is what they know that Filipinos look at as a measure of success. So our community, is there such a thing, you're a professor, Carol, you, is there such a thing as a community measure of success? I, I don't think so. Okay. Um, because I, I truly believe it's very subjective, uh, it's very individualized, and uh, and there is a reporting bias. Mm -hmm. uh, when we say Filipinos like to drive in Mercedes and have and wear expensive jewelry, we're talking about some Filipinos. Okay. But if you go to certain areas, you would find um, that not all Filipinos are like that. Your songs being interpreted, recorded by other artists, how does that make you feel? Oh. Wow, it's like uh, it's like you pass on the baton to somebody else, mm -hmm. and that person actually got it, mm -hmm. and now is using it, believing in that song, mm -hmm. that it's going to, you know, it's it's one thing to read, to get a song because of the name of the person right. behind the song. Right. It's another thing to get the song because you just simply like the song. Mm -hmm. That for me is the more 
prominent you know uh, sign of uh, success hindi ba nahirapan ka na career sa philippines comfortable tapos getting into the unknown dito sa america and my gosh what a pressure for you no las vegas ka agad that's right oh oh I, uh, alam mo kahit ako rin hindi ko hindi ko ak- inakala na mangyayari sa akin to in my lifetime but how big is this for you it's huge I mean, it, and I'm not I can't downplay it it would be dishonest to say it's not the, probably the most uh, phenomenal thing ever to happen and, and it's it's actually caused me to be able to um, reflect a little bit on my career which I don't do because I'm always moving at a hundred miles an hour so you know to, to stop and experience this week has been about enjoying not only this experience but all the other experiences because I actually have stopped to slow down and look at everything where is the Emmy we should have it right here that's the Vincent's Indiana Emmy go I yeah it's I, I felt that it was um when when I I didn't ask for it mm-hmm. actually you know I was just happy to be working where the place that I really love to work and when we got nominated for an Emmy and we actually the previous year and now that you can show it but I wasn't a producer yet I was oh. an associate producer okay. the next year we got nominated again the now that you can show and to have that I felt like I, I my parents deserve it more than I did mm-hmm. knowing that being an immigrant that got into Filipinas and all the things that we've done Philippine culture in general it is very rich and for the Filipinos out there I hope that this show is able to inspire you just a little bit more renew or even strengthen your pride in being a Filipino and that we not only have this to give to the world but a lot of uh, inspiration also what are the seven basic motions? What a rich 2011 we had, and that's not all. We also have memorable performances from our Kababayan artists, and we'll give you that when we return on the show. Don't go away.